Hello guys, it's MeshTech here. Today I want to make a little experiment and find out what actually happens if you apply the HDMI out patch to rogue firmware. Will it destroy your device? Or will it completely mess up the rogue firmware on your device? Or might it even work out? Let's find out. Since the beta version of HDMI out patch for the latest stock firmware version was published a few days ago, I wondered how long it will take until we see this working with Rogue firmware. Honestly, since I've changed over to Rogue firmware, I don't want to switch back to stock. Rogue comes along with so many advantages compared to stock that I don't want to miss anymore. But HDMI out is such a cool feature that I don't want to miss either. So damn. It feels like being trapped in between two stools. So the wish in me rised up to have both HDMI and Rogue working together. And even though the upgrade note warns you not to apply this to any unofficial firmware because it causes irreversible consequences, whatever that means, I couldn't resist and I had to find out. So let me share my experience with you and see what happened. Hello guys, um, today I'm gonna try an experiment because I want to figure out if the HDMI patch is working on Rogue 2. So I'm on Rogue on my RT350 here, as you can see up there, it's the Rogue firmware. Um, I'm, <clears throat> I'm on 1.7.9.9 right now <clears throat> and I, <clears throat> sorry copied over the patch for HDMI support, so I'm gonna start it right now. Say yes, I wanna update this, and now let's see what happens. All right, it says update complete and the system will restart now. So let's see what happens when we restart our RG350 after we installed the HDMI patch to Rogue. <laughs> All right, we're back in our system. So, yeah, let's switch over to the settings and see if we get that HDMI option now. So, I think it was in... Wow, okay. Now, let me connect my HDMI cable and see if it works. I'll be right back. Alright, now I get my HDMI cable for my monitor right there, so I'm gonna connect it. Alright, so what the update actually did, it overrides the system, so this ain't rogue anymore. As you can see, this shows up as a different build and um, the good thing is it kept all my games on it and all my emulators, so it didn't wipe my data. This is all still there. But I got a different system. Also, if I boot up, I don't see the Rogue logo. I see the normal Open Dingux logo. So it seems like it replaces the system, your firmware, and replaces it with this special firmware that supports the HDMI out. But at least it keeps your data on the device. So I don't know if you still feel like updating from Rogue to HDMI out you might want to do this, but I mentioned some strange things like in applications now they're showing up two Dingux commanders and two terminals. Everything, or not everything, but some applications just doubled up. So I think this comes with um, the additional installation of the um, modified system. Um, yeah, same with um, some entries in the settings menu. As you can see, we got 
two times the power off icon and we get two times the reboot, sound mixer and system information. So I just wanted to show you what happens when you apply the HDMI out patch to Rogue Firmware because I think some more of you guys out there are curious about what happens if you do it. Now you know. I don't recommend you to apply it since it kind of messes up your system with these double icons that you have seen. I did a backup of my SD card before I applied the patch so I can easily recover to my old system again. If you're on Rogue right now and like to make use of the HDMI out feature, I recommend you to backup your data or get a complete new SD card, flash the latest stock version 1.5.1 and apply the patch to it. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. I hope this satisfies some questions out there about what really happens when you apply the patch for Rogue Firmware. As said before, I don't recommend you guys doing this if you're running on Rogue Firmware. Only apply the patch if you're running on a stock version. Thanks for watching and see you in my next videos. Bye!